with all due respect to my friend Bill Turk, I, I think it's a, a, a shocking abandonment of the Washington Post Company's obligation to the community that it serves. I'm enormously disappointed that Mr. Bezos did not see fit to use his abundant wealth to continue to benefit the community. And I'm terribly worried for the future of honest and accountable government. I just don't see how, if we're not going to have wealthy philanthropic individuals like the Oaks and the Sulzbergers and the Grahams uh, who are going to continue to use their wealth to promote the cause of public information. Journalism is not solely or really at all a profit center. Journalism is a public enterprise and a public service. And to lose the opportunity to monitor what we do here um, is just very, very worrisome and troubling. I'm, I'm worried for the future. Over the weekend, I saw um, recirculating a false information on Facebook that, that really disturbs me and upsets me. You see things that are just false, just, just rankly false, that, get, that you see all the time on Facebook, and people can't discern what's true. And historically, we've counted on, on National Public Radio and The Washington Post and WTOP and other outlets to give us the truth. And as those outlets disappear, um, it's going to be harder and harder to make wise and sound decisions. And in the absence of journalism, rascals thrive. I mean, um, individuals can get away with, with malfeasance and, and um, uh, embezzlement and, and um, you know, crimes if, if journalism is not there to hold them accountable. And the absence of the Gazette is it's a terrible, terrible loss. And, and, I, and I hold Mr. Bezos accountable. I, I think it's a, an abandonment of his responsibility to the community that, um, that his organization serves.